um, video, video games. I never understood why people spend sixty four dollars and sixty four dollars and nineteen cents on a video game with tax and everything. I know I play video games all the time, brand new video games. I don't buy them new unless they're like wrestling, NASCAR, or I'll say the new Grand Theft Auto Five. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of want. I kind of want to get, but um, maybe NASCAR, wrestling, baseball. Those are my main games. Um, but I, I will say sixty-four dollars and nineteen cents to spend that on a video game, right? Why are you gonna instantly? This makes me mad. Why are you gonna instantly buy, spend an extra twenty dollars? Let me. I know how WWE works. THQ, thank God, freaking 2K took over Jay Z on TQ, um, 2K. I mean, 2K. He, they're making WWE 14 for finally. We're gonna have a new producer, but I heard they hired back some THQ members. They hired not back, but they THQ went out of the business. So when 2K bought the WWE series, they they hired, they rehired, they gave the THQ people who are already making the WWE series the um WWE. They let them make the game. They let them continue making the game. So it's not like they fully out of the job. It's the fact that 2K has the actual contract. But what they did was they basically just rehired like the main people. I would think like maybe Corla does most since he's one of the main ones. And there's another guy. I forgot his name. But um, they, they, I'm pretty sure they, they said they rehired some people to remake their be 14 because 2K has it now. And they went out, THQ went out of business. Because they are horrible at making a WWE series. The things they could do, I wouldn't say it's too bad. I wouldn't say horrible, but it's it's pretty bad. Like the crowd looks the exact same, basically. Other than you can finally see them from the back since 06. The crowd looks the exact same since 06. They, they look like on the 64. Like on the 64, the crowd looks the exact same as on the 64. The only difference is, is maybe there's a space in between the crowd, like the people in the um, WWE audience. But um, I kind of get sidetracked. Let me let me get back to it. But just put all in the game, and you spend an extra twenty dollars on a add-on, which is called fan access for the WWE series. It, it started in the back in like 2011, 2012, I think. I don't know how long fan access was there, but um, long story short. That's being sixty-four dollars nineteen cents on a video game. Why are you going to spend an extra twenty dollars to get dollars to get instantly access to unlock everything on a video game? Why? Why? Plus, I, let me tell you, it makes me mad, dude. Because I, I'm on here and I'm online playing the WWE series, and I see that somebody has fan access like a week. Like I usually get online a week after I get the um the new WWE game, so I can get used to playing it. And so I'm sitting here playing it after a week of playing uh, online. I get online after a week of having the game so I like, get, get used to playing the game and see what I like to see some new characters that weren't on from the previous um, ser from previous series and the ones before the new like before like 13. I like to see who's new that wasn't on 12 or before on, on a WWE series and it's it's. I don't want to see fan access. It makes me mad. Like you, this is what you should do. Sixty-four dollars nineteen cents on a video game. You you you're throwing it down the drain by getting the fan access and spending extra twenty dollars to unlock everything. I think that's what it's it's, it's fan access. If it's not fan access, it's called something else. But it, long story short, I, I believe there's fan access. It unlocks everything in a video game. Like. I thought, like, it, it's just, it's retarded. This is what you should do. I'm going to give you a good example of what you do do. This is what you do. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to play it for a year. I'm going to play it till a month of two, like, I'm going to play it, say, a month before 2014 comes out. Or two, it'll be called 2K14. And I will play it a, probably about a month before 2K14 comes out. And... I will then, and only then, a month before it comes out, get van access for the extra $20. And 
that soon I'll get fan access. I will play and I will try to beat and get every trophy on it on it PlayStation. I, I can for WWE series. If you got Xbox, then achievements for it. Shit, the trophies are the same as achievements on Xbox. So I mean it's the same thing. It's just but I'm, I'm, gonna, try, I'm gonna try to get everything I can get. I can try to unlock everything I'm gonna unlock. But whatever I don't unlock a month before a new series come out, then you have the right to freaking to then you have the right to purchase the fan assets. That's when you have the right to purchase it, okay? You don't purchase it right after you buy it for the video game. Cause it's a waste. Like you're gonna outplay the game and then you're gonna lump around and you're gonna like your little freaking little 12 year old kids that like to play your damn video games 24 7. I play my video games 24 7. But let me let me tell you this. Y'all buy these video games and y'all spoil and y'all ask your parents all year to get y'all video to get y'all the new WV game, a new WV game. Oh, it's gonna be so great even though it's gonna be the same exact thing as the last year. Other than uh, except it's gonna be maybe like literally six new superstars and they're gonna put in something new that you can do finally for the first time ever. But to do that, they're gonna take something out that's really important that we wish they would have kept in it because they every time they put something that was never in there before, they take something out and it pisses me off. I'm sick of seeing it with THU. Actually, I'm glad 2K's purchased the WWE franchise now as far as making it. But Guess what? They rehired some of the THU members. Oh no, they hired Core Ledesma. Get out of here. WB2K14. Or 2K14, I'm saying. WB series better not be horrible. Better not be horrible. I feel it's gonna be better. The audience, when you come out, and the audience is, ooh, the audience is real loud. And you can't hear, who is it? Um, the guy announcing. There's two of them announcing. Um, I can't believe I forgot their name, but anyway, so when they're announcing, you can't hear anything. It's like the crowd is like blowing up your ears. Like, what's going on? Like, like you, you can't hear their, you can't hear his voice. It, it's it's annoying. You go walking out, you can't hear your theme song. You can't hear the you can't hear your theme song. You can't hear the announcer saying your name. You can't hear anything. Like everything other than the crowd, you can hear. The fireworks, you can kind of hear. Sometimes you can't even hear the fireworks. That's a shame. You got pyrotechs going off, just blasting 50, 100 feet in there. You can't even hear that. That's a shame. They better fix that in 2K14. I say that much. But long story short, I all sidetracked again. Um. Don't spend $64.19 on a video game and then. Put an add-on for twenty dollars. It's a waste of money. Wait a month till the next series come out, and then you spend twenty dollars. Um, as far as spoiler alerts, let's go back to Facebook real quick. On uh, spoiler alerts, it, it makes me mad. It's gonna cause less views. I'm, I'm sick of seeing it every five seconds on Facebook. Um, that's just long story for it. Everything wrapped up. Don't do spoiler alerts on Facebook if you truly love that franchise. Or whatever, and don't get an add on it's the second you get a video game because you're gonna outplay it and you're gonna you're gonna be lump around. You actually pay it all year for a video game, like I buy my own video game, my own money. I go cut a yard, get about thirty dollars, go cut another yard, get thirty dollars, and then I probably need about five up five bucks for the change uh, for tax, and that's sixty four nineteen on it. And what got to cut another yard, whatever. I mean. And get, get a video game. That's how I do it. I'm 18. I'm, I'm, I'm a grown man. I do my own. I'm a, I do my. I make my own money. I don't have to pay anymore. Um. That's just how it goes. They they buy the video games. Lump over. They they wait the, the Christmas. They open it on Christmas, and they're like, oh well. Now what? You want to know about your board kid? Because you just begged your parents all freaking month to get that game for you. All the gear that game for you. They finally got it for you. And you spoiled. I'm going to curse on this because I'm pissed off. They spoiled ass 
asked for it all year, and you got it, and and you're playing, and you play the crap out of it, you get fat, says, and freaking makes me angry, man. Because you walk around the rest of the year, all the way up to next year, oh, I'm bored, there's nothing to do, oh, I'm bored. Your friend comes over, hey, what you got to play? Oh, well, I got this. Oh, I already have that. My little ass already got that because my parents make millions of dollars every year. I'm fucking crappy damn northerner that gets everything I want because I'm the best in the world. I'm the next CM Punk. No one wants to hear that. Uh, fancy and Punk. I'm fancy and Punk. But I had to use that line, best in the world. But long story short, that's it. This video was kind of long. Whatever. 20 more seconds. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about add-ons instantly right after you get it. And what you think about spoiler alerts. I don't hear your comments. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. SummerSlam 22.